Yes. Well, I mean, your, your first question, let me take the example of, of Darfur. All these cases are, all these events, all these situations have tremendous multiple causation. Right. So part of the causation is, of course, of, uh, being unable for perhaps to provide a good solution, as you might say, put it at the door of, of China and Russia. But then why does the situation arise there in the first place? And then there are infinitely complex issues of uh, grazing rights and land and different groups and so on and so on. But you cannot, th these uh, causation is really multiple. That is, you can't exclude certain things altogether. And there are issues about a certain conception of the Sudanese identity and its connection with Islam and so on, which have been driving certain attitudes on the part of the Sudanese government for a long time, which caused, of course, a tremendous civil war for a very long time with the South, and finally one over overcame that, but which also are, I think, one of the obstacles in the way of a solution. So all of these issues, nothing is a monocausal issue. No, no important issue it simply can be said, well, let's look at, the, uh, <clears throat> at this cause or that cause. I'm saying don't forget this dimension of causation, right? And because otherwise you'll do terribly counterproductive 